I am here today with my cousin. Carissa. This is Carissa, and today we are doing a trip to, we already went to the mall to get coffee, because we're in like a nice area with a <laughs> nice mall with nice coffee. Sounds nice. It is. <laughs> and after this, we are going to a Lifeway Christian store and to Barnes and Noble because we really want to be in debt. So, <laughs> I, I'm not wrong. <laughs> So, not, yeah, part. that is where we are heading now. You can find us in debtor's prison later. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. It's a short little montage of our trip to the bookstore. to Lifeway. I discovered heaven on <laughs> earth and because I've never been to a Lifeway before so that was exciting and now we're going to Barnes and Noble because we really want to die apparently. <laughs> so I've created a problem. Yeah and then there's a Hobby Lobby next to Barnes and Noble and a Michaels. went to Lifeway. Lifeway, Michaels, and Barnes and Noble. We didn't get anything at Barnes and Noble. Unfortunately. Because we'd already been to Lifeway. So next time we should plan better. Or come with more money. Both good options. But we're going to go through the stuff that we got today. So first up is everything we got at Lifeway. So we each got tote bags that say Bible, coffee, journal, and quiet. And like, it's perfect. And I think I might be able to use this for school, actually, which would be super cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. Plus, to carry around all the books that I'm having to write and read and review. <laughs> all the all books, books that you have, have to write. To write. <laughs> I have to read and write reviews on. So that is that. I mean, the writing thing is appropriate. Yeah, so these are super cute. And then why don't you show them the first book that you got? The only book I got was A Light on the Hill by Colin Cosette, which I've heard good things about. Yes. So I I got I got this book and I've read it. I'm very excited. I it love is, her other books. It's so. amazing and everyone should read it. So in my bag, I got Bathsheba, which I'm really excited about. And I also really like the cover. It's amazing. It's beautiful. <laughs> I've read Esther by Angela Hunt, which is like the first book in this kind of series, I guess, that is called... It's the Dangerous Beauty Series. The Dangerous Beauty Series. And so I'm really excited to read this one. She's read it. I, I have. If you can read it, do. It's amazing. Yeah. I haven't read... I really like most of Angela Hunt's books, but I haven't read one like this in a while. Yeah. So that's exciting. I read it in like a day. Yeah, the last two books I read by her were Judah's Wife and Egypt's Sister, which are about technically real people that existed, but there's not much that you know about them. And these are like actual figures in the Bible. Yeah. So that's exciting and that will be fun. That's all you got, right? 
I mean, I got a gift for someone, but that's... Yeah, she got a gift for someone, but that's, like, superfluous to this video. So it'll just be me now discussing things with my sidekick. The next book that I got was Lydia, Woman of Philippi, which, like... First of all, the cover is really pretty. I like books that just have like a solid color on them that is like, this book is a color. Um, <laughs> so I really, I've never read anything by this author before, but as you know, I love biblical fiction. I basically eat it like ice cream, but like faster than ice cream because with ice cream you get brain freezes and with this you just get tears. <laughs> so... <laughs> she hasn't watched any of my YouTube videos yet. Uh, excuse you, I've watched all of them. Okay, the ones that are published, but I have like 12 others that are scheduled right now. Oh, okay. So you haven't watched the others, but she's she's suddenly, I think you're realizing how I am going, this is how I talk in almost all of my bookish videos now. I'm like a comedian, but Just not sad. dirty. <laughs> Uh, I also didn't have coffee today. I had co You I did had, have coffee. That I was a co lie. I had coffee today, but it was so long ago. That was like two hours ago that I had the <laughs> coffee. It's already worn off. My eyes are like sagging, okay? Do not raise your eyebrows at me. I am known for my eyebrows. I know. And then the last thing I got at, at Lifeway was Everyday Life in Bible Times, which is a book that is not a fictional book. You're Which is, it is sad. You're just a fan of whiting up everything. Yeah, well, I'm a, I'm a vlogger now. Oh, I'm cool. I'm really excited because I always have been fascinated by what life is like during Bible times, hence the excessive amount of hoarding biblical fiction and books that take place during Bible times. Because I feel like if you understand how life, what life was like, I'm missing a lot of books too because I took a bunch out to take bookstagram photos, <laughs> so things are falling over. I feel like if you understand what life is like when the Bible was written, you can better understand the Bible verses and the mm -hmm. context in which they were written. So I'm excited to look at this. It's kind of like a reference book. It just has yeah. like topics and you can read about them. So I am really excited to look at this and maybe it will help me understand things. And then the last thing I bought at Lifeway was this map. <laughs> <laughs> it's a map! And then it has words on the back. Words. Yes. It is a map of Palestine in the time of Jesus. And it has like lines that show you the routes that Jesus took and his journeys and major roads and like points like, like, you know, where Jesus turned water into wine or like uh, Jesus' baptism, and I think that's really cool. And I want to learn more about that and study that. And my voice is shaking, and I don't know why. <laughs> Moving on, then we went to Barnes and Noble, and I saw books there that I liked, but then I saw money leaving my wallet, and I had second thoughts. And um, then I went to Michaels. Then I went to Michaels. It was strategic, really, because if I would have bought more books, I couldn't have bought the stuff I bought at Michaels. So. I went to Michael's to get like paper and washi tape because I'm becoming a crafty person these days because like it's pretty and I want it. It's my fault. The first thing that I got at Michael's was a bunch of scrapbook paper to put in pictures. And then finally the golden, golden, gold washi tape. I've never purchased any before and I wanted to so I felt like getting a giant box of all the washi tapes was... This is my fault. I blame myself. A good way to start. Yeah, I was only gonna get like two and then you were like, I mean, go big or go home, Jenna. I literally said, I was like, I'll probably just get a couple colors, but then I want all the colors. And then you were like, if you think it will help you, then do it. Okay, I'm gonna go get Piper. Go grab Piper. She needs to save this video. We need the cuteness. Yeah. Because we're very boring. Yep. Piper, say hi! To the camera. No, she likes me. Okay. Piper, say hi. 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 Say hi. Oh, no. Say hi. You cannot eat the books. <laughs> eat the camera, not the books. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very casual. It was very relaxed. I was very tired. And I didn't, yeah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Give the 
video a like if you liked it. <laughs> I really hope that you liked this video. It was very casual, very chill. Just wanted to take you along to our trip to the bookstore because I've never been to a Lifeway before and I was very excited to go. Yeah, so that was really fun and really exciting and I really enjoyed the trip and um, I gotta put all this away before Brandon gets home. Oh yeah. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe for more if you think that you like my personality after all of this rambling. And uh, go check out my website and blog at www.jennavanmatter.com and if you really like what you see and you like the content and you want to stay up with me on a day-to-day -day basis, please go check out my Instagram at jennavanmatter where I post bookstagrammy photos and little snippets of my life here and there. This is Carissa, my cousin from California who is visiting me. I'm Jenna and I really hope you like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Piper. Say bye. 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 We treat her like she's a child. I know. She is a child. She's a child mixed with a... <laughs> that was a really hard hit. What if I just put her on the shelf? Oh, no. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. bye. Brandon. Brandon. Ah!